She is the breakout star of award season. This is Divine Joy Randolph's moment, and she is shining. The actress earned her first ever Academy Award nomination for Best Supporting Actress as her role as Mary Lamb in The Holdovers, the head cook at an all-boys school who's in the midst of grief after the loss of her son in the war. Divine told me that Mary was a role that helped her connect to herself and to others, and she adds, this is just the beginning. All you can think about is some silly girl. I don't need you feeling sorry for me. See? I'm just saying, this was the first good thing that came with being in this prison with you. How did you find out that you were nominated? I had just came back from Paris for a Scaparelli show, and I was walking in the door, and we had like an hour before it was going to it. I normally don't watch it, I get very nervous, but my team forced me. So I took a shower, had some soup, and then I came out and sat on the couch, and I saw it, it was so crazy. You mentioned in your speech from the Golden Globes how Mary changed your life. And to the character Mary, oh Mary, you have changed my life. You have made me feel seen in so many ways that I have never imagined. And I hope I helped you in all. I hope I helped you all find your inner Mary because there is a little bit of her in all of us. How has she changed your life? I've always watched certain performances and thought to myself, I would love to, as a black woman, be able to convey these same things and to make an ordinary, everyday woman special and unique for people to connect to. I had you got stuck with babysitting duty this year. How'd you manage that? By me going through this journey and being willing to go down this emotional and challenging path, the gift has been bountiful. And the biggest one being me connecting with people and people sharing with me how this work is impacting them. And neither of them made it to 25. My baby wasn't even 20. I'm so sorry. I took this job when Curtis was small because I wanted to ensure that he was going to have a good education. You know he flourished here. Yes. No, he was a great kid. I mm -hmm. had him one semester. Very insightful. Mm-hmm. He hated you. Well, uh, like I said, <laughs> Sharp kid, insightful. When was that first role when you said, mm, I can do this? You know what's crazy? I have very bad imposter syndrome. Mm. And I think we it's because do. of, especially, I, I never desired or, or saw this in my path. And so I, I guess maybe this might be the beginning. I'm seeing the spiritual, emotional impact that it's having on people, less of like my skill set, but more of the impact. You've described your journey as the game shoots and ladders. Yes. How so? Well, you know, uh, this industry at large, you, you're not in control. That's a blessing about this job. That makes them a projection. You're not in control and it's anybody's game. And so you have to find stability within yourself to fortify yourself in your truths, have confidence, and be able to weather the monstrous storm. And so that's why in these moments, again, the connection with the people is a thing that has me coming back. If you know it's already gonna be shoots and ladders, you better love the game as a whole. Just love the game of shoots and ladders and know how to enjoy the entire process and be able to accept the highs with humility and to accept the challenges of the lows with grace. And that, I think, has helped me to be able to stay consistent in the pursuit. Sometimes people, when they say, you know, Mom and Dad, I want to be an actor, yeah. and their parents are not supportive at all, but you say yeah. your parents have been... Something that my parents have always instilled in me was, we will support you, no matter what you do. My parents are educators, so me getting a good education, me doing my very best and being the best at it that I can potentially be, as long as I gave my best, my parents were okay with whatever I did. And watching the Oscars was something you all did as a family? Yeah, like the Olympics, you know what I mean? Or like the Grammys, it was just something every year that we would watch and look forward to. So this is gonna be a trip. 
to be in the audience with them. What was your first paid acting job ever? Wow, my first paid acting job was actually Robin Williams' last movie. It's called The Angriest Man in Brooklyn. I played his nurse. He poured into me. And I'll never forget how that man was so generous and sought me out to encourage me and impart wisdom. Anything you can share with us that you remember? Well, he said, you must love it because it's very hard and taxing on your family, on you, on your body, on your mind, and to really love it and to don't do it for selfish reasons. He truly showed the world through his gift to be kind and to love one another through his laughter and joy, and as well as the dramatic roles that he was in. He was for the people, and he used his gift for good. And just last question, you have said you're just beginning. That we yeah. haven't even seen no. anything no. yet. What would you like to do? If you can, from your lips to God's um, ears, your next role, what would you like to show I, I the think the next thing that we will begin tackling is to portray a black opera singer, a Lantine Price, as a way of merging uh, two of my gifts together and kind of reclaiming music and singing back for myself. I think that would be quite powerful. Yeah. Okay, I'm here for it. Thank you. Thank you. All the best to you. Thank you Good so luck. Much. We'll be I rooting for you. you. So appreciate Dave Vine for that conversation. And be sure to catch our brand new special Road to the Oscars featuring all of our conversations with the 2024 Oscar nominees this Friday, 8.30 p.m. Eastern, right here on ABC News Live, also streaming on Hulu. And be sure to tune in to Countdown to the Oscars on the Red Carpet Live, which Johnson and I will be hosting, featuring the biggest stars and nominees that Sunday, March 10th. Coverage begins at 1 p.m. Eastern, right here on ABC News. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.